How many nights we've been out here? I'm losing track on my underwear. You got right side out, front ways and backwards. Then inside out, front and back. I'm right side back. I haven't been changing them. Yeah. I'm thinking Santa Blanca can smell us from about five clicks out by now. Civilians in the area. Watch your targets. Marking a hostile. He's close to some locals. This shit right here is why the cartel's gotta be stopped. We're clear over here. God, these fuckers are sloppy. Keep the guns down, fellas. We don't want to scare them all off.
What do you think is going to happen in this country if and when Santa Blanca leaves? What? Bolivians take over again. But this country's all changed. It used to be FARC taking Bolivian cocaine to Mexico. FARC moves out, some other guy moves in. Santa Blanca moves out, who comes next? I mean, shit. Santa Blanca has done a hell of a lot to build up the cocaine industry's infrastructure in this country, in this province. You've seen how much they invested in Pyro Lucite production alone. All these buildings, this equipment, even the logistical template, it's just going to be sitting there when the next cartel moves in. Shut up, dude. You're making me feel all depressed and useless. We got hostiles in the area. Don't want to spook the target. Switch to suppressors. Got eyes on the target. Let's move.
drag out. Get some. Something fire on these shitheads. Get to cover. Move. Took you so long. They're looking in the wrong place. We're clear. That's ten targets. We're settling down. Must think we backed off. Relax, we're still good. There's another one. That's ten. We don't want to kill somebody by mistake.
clear. How are you guys holding up? We got company. Stay sharp. Spotted one with submachine guns. Get back before they make you. Somebody's cage. Man, they're gonna be pissed when they figure out they're looking in the wrong place. Camp settling down. I got a knock over here. That was around the parking area.
We got an arco with the submachine gun. Over by the sandbag emplacement. Tango number three. Everybody hold up, we got hostiles in the area. We're settling down. I must think we back. We got a Sicario. Tell me where. At the foot of the watchtower.
bad guys in the area. Narco. Inside the watchtower. be on top of us in another few seconds. What do we do? Come <laughs> on. 
They're settling down. I must think we backed off. That's close. Spotting another tango. Careful, Sicario sporting a submachine gun. Point him out. The Sicarios have found the escaped prisoner in the village of Culta. What a wonderful name for a town. They were protecting him. See, si. the village is known to Unidad as a haven for rebels. Why do these rebels even bother? Kill them all. The whole village. Visit divine wrath upon Culta and wipe it off the face of the earth. Claro, al rato.
it. Hold up, we're we'll gonna spot you. Tango knows somebody's got a beat on him. Hey, cover! Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Sure thing. He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's an old man. He's not gonna last long under torture. Shit, if they've been working on him for a while, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. is a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. Let's get moving. The cartel isn't gonna wait around for us to track down and rescue Amaru. Clear. How you guys holding up? Everybody hold up, we got hostiles in the area.
keep your guns down. These people see too many as it is. Got some hostile activity. We're good. Got company station. Enemy marked. I got a third. Oh, here we go. They've seen us. Way over here. We'll leave a marker so the Rebels can pick up these supplies later.
rise up hostile presence. I got a narco over here. The field, see? up on a Toyo farm. Remember, a lot of these Sicarios are ex-military. ID your targets. If Amaru gets killed by a stray round, Operation Kingslayer will be dead in the water before it even starts. Let's go. We got a Sicario by the mine silo. Entiendan, carajo. Agarraron a la here. persona que no debían. Exijo que me saquen ahora mismo de aquí, bestias. Sé que alguien me escucha, cabrones. Sé que están ahí. Así que escuchen bien. El no perdona. Todavía no estamos a salvo. Pero Dios le pagará esto que ha hecho por mí. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here.
Okay, tell me if you've heard this one. A sailor sitting in a bar. I've heard this one. I don't give a shit. Anyway, this sailor's sitting in a bar and he leans over to the guy next to him and he says, You want to hear a marine joke? And the guy next to him replies, Before you tell the joke, you ought to know. I'm six feet tall, weigh 200 pounds, and I'm a marine. The guy next to me is six foot two, weighs 225, and is also a marine. And the guy next to him, he's six five, weighs 250, and is a marine too. Now he says, do you still want to tell that joke? The sailor thinks about it for a minute, then shakes his head. Nah, he says, uh, I don't want to have to explain it three times.
alive. We got company. I got a Sicario over here, next to the barn. Ayúdeme a salir de aquí. Marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. What's the plan? We're clear on this side. Alguien, ayúdeme a salir de aquí. Entiendan, carajo. Agarraron a la persona que no debían. Exijo que me saquen ahora mismo de aquí, bestias. Todavía no estamos a salvo. Pero Dios de pagar a esto que ha hecho por mí. Are you Amaru? What's left of him anyway? Come on, we're getting you out of here.
So these two Marines board a flight to Houston. Marines and planes. This ought to be good. <laughs> no sooner had they settled down into their seats than an Army Corporal comes down the aisle and took the seat next to them. So the Corporal settles in, pulls off his boots, and gets comfortable. Now the two Marines take one look at this guy and decide they're going to have a little fun. After the plane's in the air, the Marine in the window seat turns to the Corporal. Hey, buddy, he says. You mind grabbing a drink for me? No problem, the Army guy says, and hops up to get a drink from the flight attendant. While he's gone, the Marine takes one of the Corporal's boots and spits in. That's just nasty. The Corporal comes back with the Marine's drink. He's just getting comfortable again when the second Marine grins and says, Hey, man, that drink sure looks good. You mind getting one for me, too? And you know what? The Corporal just grins. You bet, he says, and hops right on up. As soon as he's gone, the Marine grabs the other boot and hocks a big old loogie right inside. The Marines sit back and enjoy their drinks now. A couple hours later, the bird touches down and the Corporal pulls on his boots. But right away, he knows what's happened. He turns to the jarheads, who are both giving him these shit-eating grins. How long must this go on? This hatred, this animosity, this spitting in boots and pissing in drinks. <laughs> Buenas. Shit, we got company.
Hey, did you hear the Pentagon had too many generals, so they decided to get rid of some of them? It's about damn time. Well, somebody with the Joint Chiefs came up with the idea of offering $10,000 of severance pay for each inch of the general's body. The generals could be measured any way they chose. An Air Force general goes first. He's a smart guy, so he says he wants to be measured from head to toe. They measure him and come up with 70 inches, so he accepts a severance of $700,000. Next up was an Army general. This guy says he wants to be measured from the tip of his right finger to the tip of his left finger. The measurement comes out to 80 inches. The Army General smiles and takes a severance of $800,000. So the two generals are mighty damn pleased with themselves. But this Marine General's been watching the whole thing. And after a couple minutes, he steps up and says, You pukes are going to measure me from the tip of my dick to the bottom of my balls. Man, Marine Generals are kinky. The men doing the measuring are confused. Sir, are you sure you understand how this works? Just do it, maggot! The Marine General barks, and then he drops his trousers. Well, the two men get out the measuring tape, they steal their courage, and they get to work. So they start at the tip of his dick, but as they work their way down, they see the general's got no balls. Plot twist. One of the men says, sir, where are your balls? Left them back in Vietnam. <laughs> I think our guns are spooking them.
should have. This is it. Are you hurt? Santa Blanca is not the most gracious of hosts. These Aucas, these demons, they had questioning me. Let us say their talk of love was enough to make me vomit. But their methods were not... were not... Were their names Yuri and Polito? See, si. Yuri Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run of the mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri and Polito in at least three days, maybe four. I don't know where they are now. We need more intel. We'll search every village and camp until we find something. Somebody's gotta know something. Gather documents, hack computers, interrogate hostile lieutenants, talk to civvies, whatever it takes. We'll turn over every rock. Heads up. Bowman's file on Yuri and Pleto is coming through. That's the rundown on La... Yuri and El Polito. They're a key part of Santa Blanca's security operation. Remember to check out Bowman's briefing on the chain of command. Guy in charge of security is El Muro, the wall. Personal bodyguard and childhood friend to El Sueño. El Muro's little brother is La Plaga. Nasty piece of shit. on social media. Head Sicario for the cartel. The hunt starts now. We want Sueño, we gotta work our way up the hierarchy. First targets are Yuri and Polito. We find the intel, we track them down, we take them out.
Nomad, I've got Pakatari on the line. Sounds like he needs our help. Put him through. Hola, compadre. I have a problem in Itaqua, and Bowman says you may be able to help. My people need help. There have been many losses to the cartel, and the horrors inflicted by Yuri Polito have broken their spirit. The fires of revolution have almost gone out. Spare me the rhetoric, Katari. Just tell me what you need. There is a cartel supply convoy passing through the province soon. Capturing it would give my people much needed supplies and restore their morale. Can you do this? Consider it done. We're taking orders from Pat Katari now? Katari needs this convoy. We are gonna give it to him. The more he depends on us to get shit done, the more we can get out of him in return. Frag out. Come in here to Culeros. Check the cemetery. Contact by the cemetery. Cartel metal over here. It's gonna break some poor thug's heart to lose this. Think I can wear this with my Class A uniform?
that thing's gonna explode. Buckle up, people. I gotta say, I feel bad for Agent Sandler, but that guy was crazy. I mean, his balls must have knocked against his knees, they were so big. Six years undercover, that's damn brutal. Think of all the evil shit he must have done to become Swingo's right hand. He's not just driving the guy around. Sandoval's dropping bodies, making sure shipments of cocaine end up on the street, doing the bad deed to the people you're supposed to be working to protect. That's what gets me. I didn't live with him for that long. Shit. He's dead now, so I guess he didn't. Fire. Wilco. Cabina doble para seis personas, esa está chida, camioneta chingona. Ya va siendo hora de comer, ¿no? Back it up, back it up. Looks like we've riled them up. No se me pelan. Clear on this side.
We'll let the rebels know where to find these supplies. They can pay us back later. Heads up, hostiles in the area. Sniper out there. Round just missed him. He's looking for the source. I know we're here. Be careful. Heads up, soldiers. Near the food container.
¿Cuándo se largará este maldito calor, hijo puta? Tranquilo, chambón. No se queje tanto y mejor disfrute. Fucking hell. I'll fly. Bowman, this is Nomad. What have you got on San Mateo? San Mateo. Over the past few years, a lot of people have been disappearing from that province. Politicians, rebel sympathizers. Anyone who's making life hard for the cartel. Anybody who ain't the cartel, period. We're talking hundreds of individuals, gone without a trace. Santa Blanca is definitely behind the disappearances, but no bodies have ever been found. Find out what happened to these people. Their families need a place to start looking. Then make sure this shit stops happening. Understood. Marking target. Watch the background.
We got a tango with multiple civilians around. Opening fire on these fuckers. That guy's history. We good? Shit got close for a second there. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the supplies later. There are a lot of lights and switches up here. Let's go, let's go. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Copy.
Okay, we're still all right. Check your targets. We got civilians all over the place. Watch your fire. We don't want to hit any civilians. I got a target carrying submachine guns. They're trying to get away in the truck. <laughs> Fuck. Engage him. Ship balls. No, take cover. You with me, man? I'll be right there. Thanks. I got it, I'll fly. Ready? Open fire. Roger. Ready? Fire, fire, fire. Okay.
engaging tangos. Frag out. There's this guy in Amsterdam, and he goes to his priest for confession. He says, Father, forgive me, for I have sinned. During World War II, I hit a refugee in my attic. The priest listens and shakes his head. There is no sin in that, he says. But then the guy hangs his head. I made him pay me 20 guilders a week, or I said I'd turn him in. Mm, the priest thinks it over. Well, I admit that wasn't a very good thing to do, but at least it was done for a good cause, he replies. The guy heaves a huge sigh of relief. Thank you, Father, he says. I've got just one more question. What is it, the priest asks. Do I have to tell him that the war's over?
So there's this army ranger on leave out in my neck of the woods, and he decided he wanted to get himself a pair of alligator boots. But you know we're talking a ranger here. He wasn't going to go to no shoe store. No, he gets himself a knife and heads out to the bayou to get him a gator and make some boots for himself. So he gets off the highway and heads back into the country and finds a little old bait shop near the edge of the swamp. He asks the man where he can find himself a gator, and the man gives him directions into the bayou. This doesn't end with banjo music, does it? Just let me tell the story, okay? Anyway, the guy at the bait shop says, Look here, while you're out there, keep an eye out for these two marines I sent in a couple days ago. They were after gator boots too, and they should have been back by now. Ranger says, uh, he'll keep an eye out for him, and heads into the bayou. He follows the man's directions and heads way out into the swamp. When he gets to where he's going, sure enough, he sees these two marines standing up to their waist in the water. Over on the shore nearby, there's like 20 dead gators in the mud. Now, as the ranger watches a gator swim up to the marines, this jarhead jumps on the gator and kills it with his knife, drags it up on the shore, flips it over, and looks at the gator's feet. He said, damn it! This one ain't got on no boots either. Got some hostile activity. I got a narco over here, near the turret. I see a second target. I got a third Heads target. Up, we got a turret. I got one narco, right by the mortar. Heads up, we got a turret. Whoa. 
old fucking guy's got an 80. I got eyes and a mounted weapon. Yo, cartel gunman. Near the container. I think with all their money, the cartel would make a nicer metal.
Grenade! Grenade! He's down. Clear on this side. Got a reference here to a large cartel prison at a village called Rosario. They keep a lot of rebel sympathizers there. Even the sloppiest prisons keep records. Yeah. The warden's office might have intel on some of these people who disappeared. Let's check it out. These supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels. Frag out. Come here, the culeros. 